Hello world, there he here again. I'm creating another hip kit club layout and I'm using December kit. This is my fourth and last layout with December kit and I'm really in love with this kit. I, I have a lot of goodies left so this will not be the last last one but last with the video. Anyway, I'm starting with white cardstock and pan pastels. I uh, added some grey pan pastel to the background and then some fixative. Uh, I'm cleaning the soft tool with tissue paper, any toilet paper or <laughs> anything goes. You don't need any water to clean up your soft tools or a makeup sponge, but soft tools are made for pan pastels so they are much better. Um, this stencil is from HipKit Club as well. It's American Crafts, maybe. Uh, it was one of uh, last spring kits, maybe April or May, um, and I really like it. It's a beautiful flower, and it's perfect, perfect for backgrounds. Uh, this pan pastel has some pearl in it, so it's it has a little sheen. Again, a little layer of fixative, and then I'm creating my trademark no my uh, some pencil doodles uh, then I'm creating my paper cluster uh, I picked up some pink and blue and yellow papers the yellow one the curly one is uh, also from the paper kit but I made it some uh, with big shot and some old die cut um, I was kind of afraid to use uh, red, yellow and blue together because those are the main colors so uh, they might look really heavy together but as these uh, shades are really light they are looking good I think. Uh, so I my main colors are pink and yellow and then there are some, some blue uh, details here and there. Uh, as you see, I'm creating my paper paper cluster with stapler and adding pieces and pieces and again using a stapler and again adding some papers and doing it all over and over again. It's kind of easier to do this way than, than uh, gluing papers down to, to the background, at least for me, because this way I can... I can plan and design it before gluing all things because if I use glue then I can't move things and now if I really want to move things I can move things. So I'm also using these great paper uh, die, die cuts ephemera, from ephemera package. This telephone and some key and some flowers. These are nice little details. There's also a little deck over there. Uh, I have also this uh, vellum. Is it vellum or some kind of acrylic thing we had in the kit? And it, it's nice to add some pieces of that because it gives some sheen. Again, some sheen. I like sheen. I like shiny things. <laughs> um, I glued all things down. And now I'm using Studio Calico um, cardstock stickers uh, to add some kind of title to this page, but also um, details and text to this page. I don't want to add any big title with any big alphas or figures or anything. I want to keep this kind of um, kind of little and cute and small just like the ones are in the picture there's my uh, younger daughter Mea and our late dog Peppy um, I'm adding these as embellishment even though we have a nice text and things on the stickers um, but they are looking so cute and kind of uh, balance the layout because I have this die cut thing the curly thing and the flowers and a lot of uh, romantic things 
so these uh, straight lines calms the layout down. Uh, I'm using some uh, pink thread and adding the flare pattern on the thread. I'm using a lot of glue to get that all thread <laughs> down there, but it's nice effect to have this soft thread and then the flare pattern, with, which is kind of um, heavy embellishment. Um, I added a little more more yellow because it kind of looked it needed more yellow. <laughs> so here it is. Um, this was quite interesting layout because it has a lot of girl, uh, girly and curly things on it, but it was fun. Again, I said it was fun. It's always fun to scrapbook, right? Next week I'm back with January kits and actually if you're interested, uh, next Monday, January 25, I'm up on Artist Live Ustream channel to uh, open the kit and making the first layout. So if you're interested, interested, please join me there. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye!